everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. As you notice, this isn't my normal venue for filming. Um, as I'm away from my normal wig closet today, down in southern Georgia, caring for my son. So this will be a temporary kind of a backdrop for me while I film a few reviews. Today we're going to take a look at a newer style by Belle Tress. This one's called Energia. It's in the color Champagne with Apple Pie. A wig Studio One did sponsor and provide the wig for this review. Be sure to go out to Wig Studio One to find this style and many others. And be sure to use the code BEAUTIFULYOU for a 30% off discount. More details below. Energia is a really cute, heavily textured pixie cut. It has about a 2.75 inch bang area. In the back, we're looking at about a two and a half inch crown, and then it tapers down into a very short nape, which is about an inch and a half. There's some layering here on the sides, and it weighs right around two ounces. This style features a temple to temple lace front and a left monofilament side part. Let's take a look at that lace front. So that lace front is going to be an amazing asset to this style so that you can really pull it away from the face at any time you want. Now the left monofilament part I believe kind of gets lost in those layers a bit and there's a little bit of a thicker density there on the top. But it gives you maximum style potential that you can part it wherever you want. Now the knots are of medium, uh, medium on the knots. I think that it's pretty well, pretty well done there and the fact that the knots are a lighter color really helps. I've had the opportunity to see Champagne with Apple Pie on a lot of different Beltress styles and I can tell you that they're all a little bit different and that just may be because of the kind of style that the color is applied to but let's take a look and break down the color uh, Champagne with Apple Pie as it appears on Energia. Um, so I see that this is a lot warmer than a lot of the other Champagne with Apple Pie colors. I still see some cool blonde running through but there's more of that light caramel and even the root shade is a very warm light brown almost a caramel i see less honey throughout this one i love the rooting on this i think that uh, it's very well done you can see through to the rooting from all sides it looks very natural this is just a really cute pixie cut I am really loving this. I think it has a lot of personality. You're going to see lots of textured layering throughout this style. Let's take a closer look at these fibers though. These fibers are a little bit different than the average cafe collection style. Uh, normally you would see a very fine light fiber, very dry. These fibers here on Energia seem to be a little more substantial. Um, and they're very malleable, they're very impressionable, so that you can just kind of move them around and expect them to stay for the most part. Now, if you want to use a little bit of styling cream or something to help hold the style, that's fine, but I really believe that just by manipulating these fibers with your fingers, you're going to be able to create and hold a style that you really like. Also, these fibers are heat friendly up to 350 degrees as is the rest of the Cafe Collection. So you could take a flat iron to these if you want a little more subdued look. You could actually wrap some of those fibers around a curling wand to get a more voluminous look. So I know just what I'm looking for when I'm shopping for a pixie. I really like a longer fringe and a longer uh, crown to give me a nice profile. However, I really fell in love with this little style. Um, and even though that those measurements are kind of short, so we've got that 2.75 inch bang area and a two and a half inch crown area. And that tapers down into that one and a half inch nape. So what that can do is because that crown area is so short, it can really give you kind of a flat profile in the back where I like something a little more rounded. Um, but there's enough volume here to work with that I think that you can manipulate that into something that you like. Now what you want to do is be careful not to pull this uh, back of the cap down too far. When you pull the back of the cap down too far, it gives you kind of that flat, squared off look in the back. I don't think that's the most flattering profile. So make sure that when you're adjusting your cap that you move it just below the occipital bone. 
into a natural position there. And then take your fingers and kind of fluff up that crown a bit. We want to draw out as much volume at the crown as we can to kind of give it that beautiful rounded profile. Now with this one and a half inch nape, you're going to be careful to um, make sure that you're either shaving your nape or adjusting your bio hair so that nothing escapes because that is a really, really short nape. This cell wig also has a little more density than what I'm used to on a Beltrus Cafe Collection style. And I think that's just because it's so short. We want to have plenty of coverage there to obscure the wefting, but also give you a lot of styling flexibility as well. There's quite a bit of permatease on this style as well. So you're going to find that permatease all around that monofilament part, all throughout the top and the crown. Virtually none on the back or at the nape and virtually none here at the ear tab. So let's talk about coverage on a pixie that's so important. So I think that the ear tabs do come out far enough to obscure any bio hair that you have. I always have a lot of bio hair right there in front of the ear. So you just want to scoop that hair forward and I think a combination of some nicer uh, coverage on the ear tabs as well as that styling technique will really obscure that very nicely. Again, that nape is really, really short. So when you apply your pixie, you wanna make sure you scoop around the ear to cover up anything that might be escaping right behind the ear. Here's a look at the inside of the cap for Energia. There's your temple to temple lace front and left monofilament side part. You've got a felted ear tab here with nice sturdy stays and those do give you some really nice coverage there. An extended velvet nape with bra strap type adjusters. There's lots of wefting here, but there's also a lot of stretch. You'll notice that I had to cinch in these adjusters quite a bit to accommodate a petite average circumference. I am just amazed at how versatile this little style is. And I was kind of messing around with it. And like I said, the, the fibers are very impressionable. They kind of tend to want to stay put. You're not going to see a lot of body uh, in movement on this style just because the fibers have a lot of texture to them. They're fairly short and very impressionable. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some cute styles for Energia. much for joining me today for a look at this cute little textured pixie cut by Beltress called Energia. Be sure to go out to Wig Studio One to find more details on this style and use the code BEAUTIFULYOU for a 30% discount. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet.